Hello everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the book Lady Tan's Circle of Women and this is the newest book by Lisa C. and I got this on Audible or my mom gave it to me on Audible and I finished it in about maybe a day and a half um, um, on Audible. It was only like 15 hours long so so that, sorry, that, um, that was, you know, really quick read for me. I, I found it really, really interesting. And I really enjoyed this book. This tells the story of Yoon Sang, Yoon Sang. um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm very sorry. I'm trying my best, guys. Um, and due to a, a horrendous accident, her father and mother are no longer able to care for her. So she goes and lives with her grandparents. And her grandparents, both of them, are doctors. And her grandmother is a doctor, which is very rare during 1400s China. And she focuses on women's ailments, things that are going on with women, such as childbirth and other things like that. And she is um, learning how she learns that trade from her grandmother. But along the way, she meets a friend who is a woman who is studying to be a midwife and they you know they become friends and work together and you know she have this bond uh, you know this unbroken you know bond that you know goes on for the rest of their lives and she Focus, um, and she, even though she is, she becomes a lady of a great house, but she is also, um, does her practice of treating women's ailments and throughout her life. And she's based on a real person that lived in the 1400s. And so I'm just going to call her Lady Tan from now on, So, which was really interesting because um, there weren't a lot of people, women in that time that did that kind of thing because they were under the belief of Confucius and Confucius said that you know an educated uh, educated woman is a worthless woman they should be at home having as many children as possible and you know if they died you know tough crap they shouldn't have been born a woman basically which was kind of the same thing um, in in our, that our Western counterparts believed the Western counterparts believed, and um, one thing I like about this book is the beliefs. I really enjoyed how the be they believed in different things that would help women, and they talked a lot about, you know, their chi being out of balance, and um, their their um, you know too much blood. They talked about. You know, too much quote unquote blood um, and things like that, which is very similar to to the what the West was doing. Um, they you know the West talked about the you know the four I guess humors I think they were called and they so it was really interesting to see those those comparisons. So if you're into Chinese history and you like Lisa C, she's really popular. Um, I would recommend this book. So I will see you all in the next video. Um, I have been reading some on Audible and some in print. So I will probably get the Audi Audible one out first because I, I'm completely finished with it. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.